okay um good day this was also um, this video as well is in response to a request all right so that request i believe was made by mr john kwame um mr john if i understand correctly uh, let me share my phone screen here i mostly do whatsapp directly from my phone all you wanted was um is it am i going in the right direction okay yes you wanted to be able to do a concrete fascia to take this shape and that's why i had to go for a project where i used a gable wall anyone who looks at this building well enough might recognize it from the video that i had done on complex profiles and uh, it's not a mistake that i chose this specific building um, if you don't know how to use complex profiles you need to learn it because that's part of what i'm going to be using here so let's dive into it very quickly i think it's not something that should take like that long what you want to do is first of all create a profile for the shape that you want to follow this direction all right so i'm going to um open the profile manager which we can see here if you don't know how to open this click on options complex profiles profile manager all right and that's for architect version 26 if you are using I think 24 and below you should find it from the design tab here inside design you should see complex profile as part of the options you have here so um, once you open it uh, you can create a new profile the default should be custom but since I've already been working on profiles I'm just going to create something completely new and I'm going to call it angled profile all right and i just need to sketch out the profile for archicad to know what it is i have in mind it has this default 300 mm by 300 mm block and i think i'll just stick with something like this i'm going i'm not too concerned with dimensions right now not because i shouldn't be but because the idea we are trying to express here is just something simple so i'm introducing a curve to this as well so you are aware that that's even if what you have doesn't consist of straight lines it's still very possible now for this profile i want you to ensure that you save it with the beam not wall so deactivate wall and save it with a beam and save so this is just going to be a very simplistic profile i'm going to override the surfaces so that the color is going to be white and what better white on akika than this my personal opinion all right so we have this i'm going to come into the 3d window and over here what i want to do is i want to view this wall alone why do i want to see only this wall and nothing else well that's because i want to ensure that i start at the base of the wall and then still end at the other base of the wall for those with much more experience, you could do it without having to go via this route, but I'm assuming anyone would see this video. So select the wall and click on F5 and every other thing is just going to go away. Every other thing is going to be hidden. So now I can select the beam too. Okay. Um, I'm already on the complex profile. If you were not if all you have is a box here, change it from this to complex profile and then choose the profile you want to work on. In this case, okay, it's the angled profile. So I have this. So I'm going to start here, click here. Now observe the way it's following the cursor that it can go in any direction. I would, um, for whatever reason, it's disappeared. I think maybe I pressed escape by mistake or something like that. Alright, so and then follow through and terminate it here. Now this is not exactly what I. First of all, there's something going on here that I need to address, but secondly, this comes above the profile and we wanted to know where this was going to be done on our way. So I'm going to adjust the profile origin from here and drag it down to this point and if we save the profile when I check out what we have on the 3D now, this would drop so you can see the way that this levels properly with the wall. 
All right, um, I'm going to redraw it. The reason why I want to redraw it is I seem to have chosen the wrong point when I began earlier. So where I want to start with is this very point here. Now that I zoomed in, I assume that I'm not going to get it wrong. And it's drew only one. If you want to continue as I did before, click on this. I don't even know how that's changed, but we should try to be conscious of such things. So begin here. Um, go here and terminate it here all right so now we have something like this and this looks cool but it has a specific problem when I reload everything by the way you can see that it just works it's kind of like exactly what you want but there are cases where you could run into the specific problem I was referring to and that's because that's the fact that some portions of it so I'm just going to like select these three that's the beams I just used to make this and the wall now I'm talking about these portions under here you can see this really funny thing going on here you probably would not want that so what you're going to do to change that is um, we are going to select the beam then click on any of these edges here and then you can see that you can adjust the join angle so do you observe what is going on with the course so if you are trying this you are going to see something really interesting and then so i'm just going to adjust it to the horizontal level which in this case will be 135 degrees and i have something like this so it's in neat space and i could do the same thing to this one adjust the Alright, so I believe this solves what you have. If you run into any problems while using the contents of this video, reach out to me. And for those who are seeing this video but are not subscribed to the channel, please do. If you have any specific issues on Akika that you don't really know how to go about, there is a link on that is going to be attached to this video. It's in the description. Join the WhatsApp group on that link and you'll be able to reach out to me. You can make custom requests of whatever video you want me to record. And the more important side of joining this group will be in case you have issues that are pressing, you might not have to wait till whenever I'm chance to do a video like this. You could just hop in on a call with me as long as I'm chance. I'm going to pay attention to you and help out. And trust me if it's a problem that is Akika related, I'm the right person to talk to. I've used this software for roughly a decade now and I have learned very strongly about the intricacies of just about every function that Akika can perform. So I hope this was helpful to you. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. If you have any requests, you know how to reach out to me. Bye. Why do I switch this off?